Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Polaroid Pro Pack. Amazingly, it was a 100 type or 80 type pack film camera made in 1997. It's really similar to the Reporter and the EE100. Hopefully this video will work out. Uh, it's a windy late summer day, so sometimes it's too noisy and it doesn't work. When I see a camera with this kind of a form factor, I always think, you know, of an old-time reporter, like, did you do it, Senada? Did you kill her? Usually you end up with a picture that looks like it's a folding auto exposure viewfinder camera. The bed is the cover. You just push down on the uh, struts and it folds up and that's the cover. Uh, like I said earlier, it takes 100 or 80 series film. There's a line in the viewfinder. The 80, they were square, and the 100 were rectangular. The 80 just still fits against the same stop, but then it has a, a line at the right of the viewfinder showing you where the square frames end. Um, it does ISO 80 aka 100 if you're using the Fujifilm or 3000 and then it also has there's the 3000 setting a 3000 ER setting where it sets the camera to a fixed uh, f18 it's front cell focusing it's a 140 114 millimeter three element plastic lens I have to say, for a plastic lens, this little guy is pretty sharp. It's nice. Um, it goes from f2.9 to about f60-ish. Um, I did find a service manual for this, so it had a lot better specs than what you can just generally find on the web. Um, it has the usual light and dark and control here. And that adjusts from, let me get it back to neutral, minus 0.8 of a stop to plus one stop. Uh, the zone focusing goes from one meter, and it's interesting, the meter mark is further, like if you twist it all the way to the stop, the meter mark is further than the last mark in feet, which is three and a half feet, and of course, either of those, they just end up in infinity. It has an ever-set uh, electronic shutter, meaning you don't have to cock it. And that goes from 10 seconds to 1 500th of a second. I don't have film in it right now. So you open the back by pulling down this plastic piece. You can see down inside the bellows at the front kind of shutter mechanism piece of it. It's powered by two AA batteries. So that's kind of nice. It uses common batteries instead of the weird snaps on each end like some of the older pack film cameras. That's nice. I mean, you lose a rangefinder, but you gain a simplicity of a better battery. It has a uh, flash cube, not to be confused with the magic cube. This one has electrical contacts. And when you unfold the bed, the diffuser comes out. And if you use a regular flash bulb, um, it goes from 1.2 to 2.4 meters, about four to eight feet. And if you use a high power flash cube, uh, I think GE, General Electric, was the only company that made those, but a lot of the uh, Later pack film cameras required the high powered. I think the uh, the big shot did too. Anyway, with the uh, high powered flash cubes, um, it goes from 1.2 to 3.7 meters. That's 4 to 12 feet. So you get you know a little over what was that a meter and a third more distance um, if you're using the high powered flash cube. Um, I didn't need flash cubes because I got the Pro Flash. It's a proprietary flash for this camera. It takes four AA batteries. 
I saw this big thick handle here and I figured it was going to take C cells, but it's got a chamber for four AA batteries. The proprietary contacts are on the bottom of the camera and it screws into the tripod socket to make a solid connection with the flash contacts and then gives you another tripod socket on the bottom of that. They, don't, they do not give the guide number for it. Um, with ISO 80 film, it's from 1.1 to 3.7 meters, about 3.5 to 12 feet. And if you're using ISO 3000 film, it's from 1.1 to 7.6 meters, 3.5 to 25 feet. And then they have a kind of a long distance setting. If you have 3,000 film loaded, but you're set to 80, you get 15.2 to 22.9 meters, 50 to 75 feet. So if you're using the super sensitive film in here, but you're set for the lower film, the flash reach is out to 75 feet. That's pretty amazing. Um, the whole thing is plastic bodied, but does have a tripod socket, and this one even has a cable release. Not a weird fit over the button cable release like a lot of the older pack film, but a proper screw-in cable release. It has an electronic development timer built in. It's standalone. It's really simplistic. Uh, it takes two 1.5 volt button batteries. So it, it's essentially completely separate from the camera, but they provided it. So that's kind of cool. This particular copy, before I took it out to shoot with it, with some of my last remaining pack film, I should have checked it out a little bit better. I mean, cosmetically, it's beautiful, but there are some pinholes at the corners of the bellows. They're very small. They only show up in bright sunlight, but they're there. And the other thing is that the roller mechanism this piece that you can take out here and have the broken one back in it. This one, I mean, it was pretty crudded up, so I cleaned it, but these big metal clips at the side that hold it in, they were so corroded that they were actually smaller than they were supposed to be and more so on one side, so I kept getting really bad, uneven development. It was not the film, amazingly, my 100C Fuji Pack film is hanging in there. It's not suffering quite as badly as the trove of black and white that I have. Anyway, um, so the first film, the first frame, jammed getting it out. So I was doing some emergency stuff with my jacket over it because I didn't have my dark bag with me. And then some of the other ones had light leaks. I finally got this one, which is pretty good, but moving this, the film in and out of the camera too many times, I exposed this chunk on the side, and I finally got this great shot of uh, Trinity that's more or less properly exposed. I got the whole frame, it got developer spread over the whole thing, so I know that when I put the donor rollers in here, and I'm careful that I'm shooting in low light so I'm not getting the ghosts through the pinhole leaks. This camera does work and it works properly. So until then, I'll see you then.